Er eiglum ge kappe chwyn chwn de ffwrdd lorge, agus dred a hogan tu ge tach gata er le. Fe fag sŵl yn y lehe de egol sy'n india, agus ofer un tys yn siw e cynta. Lanan yn bohwyr o rai gydi tach gromenig, agus ys eg ban yn tí Barbara Grubb agus stari ochiwl Julian Walton a to sgeil yn siwd altarach de siw. Dramana was built probably in about 1215, when the ancestor, Thomas Fitzantony, was granted this land by King John. And it's in a very dramatic position, perched on the river Blackwater, and very easy to fortify and defend. So the family have been here more or less ever since then. And the bridge is at the original entrance to the domain from the Kappa Quinn direction. It originates with the marriage and honeymoon of Henry Villers Stewart in 1826. Mm -hmm. They spent part of their honeymoon in Brighton, where they admired the Royal Pavilion, which had recently been designed by John Nash and built at the request of the King, George IV. And no doubt they thought, well, perhaps something like that would be nice here in Dramana too. So they modelled the Gate Lodge on the north gate of the Royal Pavilion at Brighton. It's a mixture of Gothic, so medieval European styles with pointed arches and so on, and Hindu, Indian styles. So it's an unusual look. It's unique. There is nothing like it yeah. in this country. Yeah. And precious little like it in these islands. OK. When you're coming around the corner, down the hill, around the corner, you don't expect to see it, and there it is. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. What a lovely shot. Yeah, <laughs> it is very pretty mm. indeed, yeah. The original bridge was a, a very picturesque wooden structure, and it had an opening span because the water was the main method of transport, so you'd want to get boats coming up and down. So they had a, an opening span which could be raised and lowered by a wheel. Okay. And there was some unfortunate guy who lived in the gate lodge, perhaps with his wife and children, opening and closing the bridge and charging people a toll if they wanted to get across. And then there was the lovely story of Edward VII in 1904, who was staying at Lismore Castle, decided he would have a sort of casual visit to Dramana, no pre-announcement, no, no fuss, no bother. He arrives at the gate lodge. There's always one gate closed and one open, and the gatekeeper comes out and says, pass, please, sir. And the king just said, I have no pass, but didn't let on who he was. And the gatekeeper turned him about and said, be gone with you. <laughs> and afterwards, the family went down to him and said, you know, for heaven's sakes, why did you turn away the king of England? Well, you said, sir, if ever I saw a suspicious looking fella, not to let him in. <laughs> um, so you can imagine what might have happened to that gatekeeper. I hope it didn't, but um, yeah. it was um, a wonderful story. But uh, anyhow, he, he gave the family a sword. This is the king I'm talking about, uh, to my grandfather with his crown and my grandfather's initials on it is, you know, obviously. To, to prove that he wasn't uh, offended. So originally there was a wheel there. That bridge used to open to allow boats up and down. The wheel's no longer there? No. Um, the bridge, a wooden bridge, began to get very dilapidated and it was replaced by the County Council in 1971 by the present bridge. And the County Council also owned the Gate Lodge. As you can imagine, the cost of maintaining both is pretty large and it's not really fair to expect the county council who've got so much else to do to look after this monument. But I think it is such an important monument. It deserves to be a national monument, properly conserved mm. and nationally managed today. It's me, Bert Larige. Tushi koma agam tril wintas and balach glas. Rain rohar is kusia o chahar furt larige gudun garawan, a valandini o chien is o hunger gach blien. Far a will gach Paul is proch oger malach glas a roll sege, not Garvin Cummins. That's like a tropical garden, isn't it? Unbelievable, yeah. So this is an amazing greenway. So this has changed life around here, has it? Absolutely, massively. Um, it opened on the 25th of March 2017 and it has been just a game changer. Mm. Leisure health, families yeah. out, older people out, it's just absolutely amazing, really. Um, but even from an economic point of view, the amount of cafes, the amount of restaurants, um, bike hire, accommodations, yeah. different activities, it's just totally unbelievable. Well, how are you going? How's it going? How are you? Well, it's Lerg will on tour here in Malach Glass. I guess not in the Achorda with Hogenta, Dunshan Valach Iron Roadshow. 
Ceann de na buach fuinti air, na tarvalach wali i wael, a togu ag dera un niu is deg. Is eg na staria a chul Sheila agus Sean Murphy, a to scale un drihid all in shaw. Hi, Sheila and Sean, how are you? How are you? Oh, welcome. Well, it's good to be here. It's like standing on top of a canopy of... I know, it's oh, beautiful, yeah, isn't it? We're quite high yeah. up here, aren't yeah. we? Oh, it is. Well, you see that there's all these bridges. This big bridge here, Valley Vile, is a massive bridge. There's also a massive bridge like this in Kilmick Thomas as well. Even the one in Kilmick Thomas has a curve on it, which is most unusual. Mm. The, the line here was known as the Duke's Line. From the Duke of Devonshire. The Duke of Devonshire lived, had a castle in Lismore. Okay. And the line was originally built from Waterford to Lismore. And uh, it was a most expensive line because uh, when they designed the line, it was to go through Lemmy Bryan in a different direction. But uh, Newton Tumble, who owns the land from Lemmy Bryan to Dungarvan, wouldn't allow the line to pass through his land. So the, the line then had to head towards the coast, as you see it. And it came this way towards the coast then keeping to the edge of the coastline. It right. meant then that the, the line had to have viaducts and embankments and tunnels, you know. Yeah. So it's the most unusual line that way. Oh, like. OK, OK. We're about four miles from here in the Cumberland Mountains, and there was a very famous landlord, John Palliser. He had four nieces, the Miss Fairums he had, and they lived at Cumberland House back in 1880. And the Miss Fairums would go to London for the season, you know, and yeah. they would bring their dresses and their trunks and all that, and God knows what they did over there in London. But anyway, they would send an order to the, uh, the housekeeper at Cumra House for a firkin of butter, eggs, Jerusalem artichokes, if oh, you yeah, don't mind, from yeah. the garden, fresh flowers, a couple of chickens, and even a goose or a turkey at times. They would be put in the donkey and cart and driven here to Dora to the station for the half two train it would arrive in London the next morning at nine o'clock in right. time for breakfast. Oh my gosh. But just imagine that the letter was written on Monday. The letter it was received yeah. on Tuesday and they had eggs for their breakfast on Wednesday. Incredible. Could you do that today? No. Very well, hard to get next day delivery. Know, so yeah. And when did the train stop running then? But the train stopped running in the, in the 60s. But because Quigley Magnusite built a, a factory in Balnacorte, used as a sport to supply dolomite to the factory oh, in Balnacorte. But the rest of the line was closed in about 666, oh, I'd okay. say, yeah. M most of the bridges you see are all there, they're stone ash bridges. This is a steel bridge, like, and this happened because in 1923, during the Civil War, uh, the IRA were retreating from Waterford westwards. Three State Army forced them westwards. And uh, when they got as far as here, the IRA decided they'd blow the bridge here. Mick Mansfield was the area engineer at the time, and he blew the two arches of the bridge here. Mm -hmm. And when he blew it then, the rest of all the other arches then collapsed in on top of each other. He also blew the road bridge just down there, and he blew the centre of the road bridge out, but Bone, the engineer, came along and saw what he was at. And he said, Mansfield, he said, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to fix the unemployment situation, he said. <laughs> he said. And he blew the centre bridge. So that stopped that, and they weren't able to move with for so fast. Like right, that. Well, you're a wealth of knowledge. But now it's a, it's a beautiful attraction as a, a oh, greenway. Oh, it is, as a greenway. It's magnificent. Yeah. Maybe the we, we walked here about 10 years ago, and you couldn't, more, get, 20 years you couldn't ago. get past there with, 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 with water and bushes and everything. It's a great attraction. Like. Drid will make Sul the Morlane Ekon, not Drid Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy. A heen and har own the Baru, a hunde for Tlarge, Gukunde look Gorman. On Drid is Fuji in Erin. Me, Gadig will take shots of Jira Fui and Drid Shaw. Gadigan too, Keho Moor is a toshe. He is in Shin, Totitim Hurter, Karaka Slot, Gadianishke. On three hits, Mo and Aaron. It's Kai May Raw. Tosh a really, really all in. Totilla Ola swam for in three hits. Agus is a Shivano Trasi at on a frag rear Macheshtine. The judgment show a brand new Aaron three hits is Fuji in Aaron. Well, it's like a key key or hoax edition. The blind and knows the V and Bali Ross Vikron a falling touch got a brute rock to own a hammer fad. August the V the Red Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Mar Freev Hid the Hach Foher Ross Vikroin on Enfi Hakui. So near Brother Bihin Shin Riven Drehid. Nero. Nero. Shinegadira. Okay. So Genta Os Concrete. Concrete. The Hokshe Shachto Mila Tonna 
konkrete agus schacht mil tonne de chruach an nartehe er ein fachen leschen tour eifel agus a quick kilometer de ran kablehe den kabli drehet so the shinner fa dan agus an tanem ta er like rose with gerald kennedy so he mohar john f kennedy the shinner gira king kangle no bunch to get she can't her show well and what the town ta on drehet sha sitte nisluna mila o gatta tossi winter kennedy Demi Patrick Kennedy, so Shin Hinana, her John F. Kennedy, good American Hochtek na Hotta Hocht. August and Sweeney Viana Dossach na on Tatne Anim Nuini at JFK. Ach, um, Horace on Togreshin, um, a flay, Le Jean Smith Kennedy, okay. Ambassador. The Molivia Kishud na on Drehid at Anim Nuini a Morher, August Honor Hort, Don Clan. Tan Ni Raisha, Erin Drehid Shin, August Shin Kown the Gach Lanov. The rose. Not so it's just in the hall. She could just more be in scale for us and take a gach dread. That's it. An simul. Oh. Ach, that gach in a hog and oh, it's to a tashel har and dread. Can stop because fair and dread. Shit. It's dread. All we know, eschach to dread. Dread. I'm a raw. Alling. Well, she needed to talk 